Hi boys and girls, today we're going to discuss some of the words you're going to encounter in the story of the man who invented basketball. A lot of you know the word basketball, but what that is, it's a game played on a court where two teams try to throw a ball through a raised hoop. Disease. That's a problem in the body or a sickness, and I use the picture of a coronavirus since that is what's in the news a lot right now. Freeze. That means just to turn to ice. When water freezes, we see that on the trees as icicles. A guard. In this story, a guard is not going to be somebody that defends or protects over a castle or a king and queen. It is a person who watches or protects something else, such as a basketball game. There are guards in basketball. And if you look at the little chart, you'll see where the point guard is or the shooting guard. Popular. That means liked by many. And right now, we all know that the game Imposters is very popular. It's liked by many. Sports. That's games in which people use their bodies to play. Here's a picture of different balls and equipment that are used in different and various sports. Study. That means to spend time learning, usually by reading. So here's a picture of a girl studying probably math or some kind of science, maybe for a test. Terrible means really bad, and in this picture, it looks like this drink smells really bad or smells terrible. Canada. That's a country in North America. It's north of the United States of America, and there's a map of Canada, and it's above the United States. Shortcut. That is just a shorter route to get to a place. Instead of following that long red arrow, you can cut right across on that ladder. Reins, that's a long strap attached to a horse's bit in its mouth or to the back of the head so a rider can hold on. Foolish, just means not wise. In this picture, there's a man sitting on the end of the branch while he's cutting it. It's not a wise place to sit because once he cuts through, he will also fall with the branch. Champion, that's someone who's defeated all in a sport. This girl is the champion, it looks like, of some kind of winter event. I don't know if it is some kind of skiing, snowboarding event, but she did win the medal. There's a line in the story that says the pitch could be soft, but it could be perfectly aimed. So that means the throw could be easy and light, but it still has to hit the target or the item. So if you think of a baseball pitcher who has to throw. Now they throw a lot harder, but they still have to throw in that certain area where the the baseball player who is batting needs to hit the ball. It has to go in a certain area for that batter to hit. A lumberjack is a person who cuts trees. Rugby. It's similar to American football, but it's more rough and the ball can be tossed around in any direction. So here's a picture of rugby players chasing each other. The rugby ball looks even similar to an American football. And uh, you can toss it back. You can toss it sideways. You can toss it forward. And the goal is, again, you have to get it across the lines just like in American football. Lacrosse is another sport that's mentioned in the story. It's a game where a ball is passed by using a net on the end of a stick. And here you see two players and the Yale player in the white, you can really see the stick that he has is a lacrosse stick and the ball's inside of there. And you toss it by using that net at the end and another player must catch it in their net. Deadline is a time when something's due. An example of that is when your homework is due tomorrow. That's a deadline. Risky, that means dangerous. That man crossing the tightrope between the two mountains in the canyon, canyon area, that is very risky. It's something that and nobody else should be trying. And grumbling, that means complaining in an angry way. So that girl right there looks like she could be grumbling, maybe saying things that are not so nice because she's upset. Thank you for watching and please disregard the misspelling in the, the Canada slide. I did catch that there is an extra N, but instead of redoing the whole thing, I think that we could just forget that it's there.